And the big update on the Isle is... I have started playing the Isle. Okay. Bye. Thanks for watching. No, she kids. She kids. She kids. Don't worry. Uh, this is this is going to be a really quick video, but not that quick. And there is actual news. An update was posted by developer Paradigm. And I noticed this because I'm playing the Isle nowadays. And you can expect the first video soon. However, do not expect the recode for the Isle to happen soon. Let's read through the announcement that was posted on the 5th of March. So it's already day old news, two day old news. You know how I work. We'll read through the announcement and then we'll discuss what this actually means a tiny bit. Posted on the 5th of March by Paradigm. I've been looking forward to writing this. It has been a long road for our team since we initially announced our intentions to rip the game down to its bones and start with a fresh, efficient foundation for the game we want to release. What does this mean for you? It means that we are getting closer to the release of Avrima. We are preparing to stage three branches of our game. One branch, our legacy branch, will contain the game as it is currently, so that people can still enjoy what we have there as we move forward with development. The second will be our future live Avrima branch moving forward. At the onset, this will have one playable carnivore and one playable herbivore, along with some of the new mechanics you've seen us showcasing in the Phase 2 channel. The third will be the Avrima Q&A branch, where our Q&A team will work to diligently test and prove out our new mechanics animals and other assorted features as our team of creators works to breathe life into the world we set out to make. I can hear you asking, but Paradigm, this isn't a release date. Our lead man for build development has been down for the count. As he is returning to work, we will be streamlining the branch deployment process. This will allow us to get updates moved along efficiently and as painlessly as possible. No one wants to tell you guys to wait any longer. Believe me when I say that is the hardest part of my job, knowing that we have these amazing things in store, but I have to ask you to wait longer for them. We want you to play this with us, and we are working to make that happen swiftly. Signed by Paradigm. So this is actually a pretty substantial update for the upcoming recode. You might have heard this from uh, a number of YouTubers who have either been speculating or of course going off Donnie's predictions. I think Donnie said during a live stream at some point that he expected the recode to go live before Valentine's Day. And previously the expectation was that it would be launched at the end of January. So there is already... Um, a trend of the uh, of the release date getting pushed back. Of course, we are now at the start of March, and I think a lot of us have been um, working on the, the presumption that it could happen any moment. Any moment you could click on the game and it would say that you need to download like an update or something, or that you go onto YouTube and you see like IGP or Anthomnia or um, the Gaming Beaver uh, introduce like. The Isle Recode has happened. <laughs> I th at least that's how I've been living my life. Uh, and it's also why I had uh, kept postponing delving into the Isle myself. I thought, you know, the Recode will be a good place for a late bloomer like myself to get started. But I started to figure out that it was going to take a little bit longer. And that is confirmed by this post. So there's still no release date. And what you can take from that is that it's not going to happen anytime soon. So I'm guessing it's going to be at least a month. That would be my my guess. You know, the closer you get to actually being able to release it, the more accurately you can give a prediction of when you can release it. Of course, they also don't want to make any promises they can't keep because that has been... You know, that's a known thing to get you... In. I'm rambling. But that gets you into trouble if you make promises you can't keep. So keep that in mind, the auto recode is not going to happen very soon. Let's get into like the meat of the uh, of the actual update, or this post at least. Uh, what he said at first is that uh, we're going that they're going to separate the game into three branches, and the first will be the legacy branch, and that will contain the game as it is currently. So you know the game that everybody knows and loves, and. 
I think that's good news. I think it's good news that we can hold on to that while they're working on rolling out the Avrima recode. Um, we don't have to worry about falling into a void where, you know, you get dumped into the new version of the game that is not exactly up to snuff yet because as it says second the second of uh, the second branch is the avrima branch and at the onset meaning at the launch of this uh, of this branch of the recode there will only be one playable carnivore and one playable herbivore now i've only played the isle uh, on three occasions at this point and i can already tell you that I think we can all agree that having only one herbivore and one carnivore to choose from is very limited, is very boring. Um, so that's not the most exciting gameplay to, to get into this. I think they're selling themselves short by not making the Regoat more attractive right from the moment it launches. I know that they want to put something out there as soon as possible, especially considering the delays that they have been dealing with. It takes the spectacle away of the relaunch or of the recode i should say that's a shame i'm just gonna be honest that's a shame because i know or i'm expecting that i'm gonna go into this recode when it does launch and uh, i might play once or twice and then i'm probably gonna move back to the legacy branch uh that contains the old game and then just continue to play that until more is released into the avrima branch you know you want options you want a little you want a little variety varieties to spice of life you know what i'm going with i am curious uh what that one playable carnivore and one playable herbivore will be i'm guessing second tier dinosaur that's what i'm guessing this um this Vrima branch will include uh some of the new mechanics they've been showcasing in the phase two channel so not even all of the new mechanics only some of them so they really are uh, going very minimal with this recode. Keep that in mind. It's 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 minimal. Now the third branch is the Avrima Q and A branch, where they can um, work with the feedback from the community to improve on the game. Obviously, if you're gonna go into a big recode, you're gonna run into bugs and all kinds of issues. So this is of course a good feature to uh, to test everything out. But again, it does confirm that. There is still a lot of work to be done to this recode. Um, adjust your expectations? I guess that's really what I'm taking away from this entire post. Adjust your expectations. Um, I can't speak for everyone. I'm new to this community. I'm new to this game. But like I said, I, I really was expecting like a full recode to launch any second, any day. And not, not that it would include every dinosaur that we currently have and not that it would include every single new mechanic and not that it would be perfect but i did think that it would be a bigger thing than a separate branch with two dinosaurs and some new features and possibly quite a few bugs i think this is a pretty important post i'm not sure why it has been overlooked by other channels but i just wanted to talk about it because i am i am full-blown um, obsessed with the aisle at this point. It has, it has taken a hold of me. So when I saw this, I just wanted to talk about it. You know me. I want to talk about stuff. Now, the post continues uh, challenging like, okay, Paradigm, but this isn't a, re a release date. And he says, our lead man for build deployment has been down for the count. I'm not sure, but I'm guessing he's referring to Fazor. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, one of the developers I know has... Um, is in a terrible situation. He has a brain tumor. Um, he is uh, seeking, or he's undergoing treatment for that. Um, there's a GoFundMe. I hope I remember to uh, put a link to that in the description box. I'm not sure if that's the lead man they are referring to, but I knew I do know that one of them really is down for the count, and you know that takes precedent, uh, precedence over anything. Uh, this person's health, so that makes. Um, the change in the in the update even more understandable. Like seriously, I I totally I totally get this. Um, and even if he's talking about someone else, if he's talking about someone who just has the flu or something, uh, that's also understandable. So there are just a couple of setbacks. Um, 
and one of them really serious with the health situation for Fazor. And um, yeah, that that just affects the recode of the game. And I think my message and the thing that I just want you to take away from this and the thing that I'm taking away from this is just to be more patient. Um, I'm really glad I saw this update because it, it really helps me to adjust my own expectations. I was uh, going off uh, on wrong information. And I think this really helps. Like... Right now, uh, as soon as I read this, I went into, like, a different mindset. Um, and I'm fine with it. I'm fine with the Rico taking longer. But it's good to know. So I feel like this was very important for them to come out and say. Um, and that's just why I wanted to share it with you. Because you might have been just as antsy as I was. And there's really no need for that. Just enjoy uh, the aisle as it is currently. I think... Everybody is enjoying it. I'm enjoying it for sure. I think it's a really entertaining and terrifying game. Uh, so just enjoy as it is. And be patient about the recode. It will happen. But it will take longer. And it will roll out in smaller stages. Than I think was previously communicated. Or at least as far as I've been able to tell. But correct me on this if, uh, if I was wrong. Like I said, I'm new to this community. New to the game. Uh, I've only been getting my information from, I'd say, second-hand sources. So from YouTubers who are not officially affiliated with the game, who have been posting news on it. And I've been basing my expectations on that. But I think the same goes for a lot of people out there. So, you know, um, look at this update and just think to yourself, okay, that's cool. It's gonna take a little bit longer and that's fine because I love the aisle. So let's just continue to enjoy the aisle. And wait to be surprised. Now, like I said, I have been getting into the aisle. So you can expect my videos on that to be coming soon. And uh, also let me know which dinosaur do you always play in, play as in the aisle. I really love to know. I'm, I'm new to this. So I'm kind of like still searching for which is my favorite. I haven't even decided if I prefer herb or carnivore. So let me know in the comments which dinosaur is your favorite to play as in the aisle. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time. Enjoy the aisle.